is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below oh my gods two of cups hey libra you definitely want this relationship but it's the two of cups right so yeah this is a very mutual energy okay the both of you are really really love each other okay the two of cups is also a soulmate energy okay that was really really low the two of cups is also a soulmate energy all right so yeah there is mutual love here you want this person you want to be with this person but yeah two of cups is also the card of commitment okay also the cup see this wanted to come out ten of cups i'm gonna take it you want your happily ever after. I have a very strong feeling, Libra. I'm creating for the cross watcher, but however, take it how it resonates, okay? So yeah, you want this happy, happily ever after with this person. And now you're ready to work on this relationship, okay? Maybe in the past, you weren't ready to put in your efforts. You weren't ready for commitment. You weren't ready for this happily ever after for, the, for this person. But now you see them as your end all be all, okay? Give me more for Libra's feelings for the person they're dealing with in love. Two of cups, ten of cups. That looks like marriage to me. Seriously. Tower here. There's been a sudden realization, like an epiphany, okay? Um, <clears throat> the tower could be, there could have been a tower moment between you guys. There could have been a breakup, a shakeup, okay? Something where I've completely shaken up your relationship, okay? The tower usually comes in when uh, the universe gives you a lot of uh, red flags, okay? And you choose to ignore it instead of acknowledging it, okay? Instead of um, trying to figure out what the real issue is. It could also mean sometimes that, you know, like your relationship is not built on a concrete foundation. And this is something that you really, really need to take into consideration. But you refuse to do it because you probably wanted to go with the flow. Or you were like, you know what, nah, if it's going okay, then I'm okay, right? I mean, I'm getting more like to make a change. It's, it was outside your comfort zone and you were okay with going w with things going the way it was, okay? And because you didn't do anything about it, the universe had to intervene and there was a tower moment, okay? But yeah, with the tower moment, does only mean a shake-up or a breakup. It also means an epiphany, a realization, aha moment. And that, that that's exactly what you have, Libra, in your feelings. Give me a no God for Libra's feelings. Give me one more card for Libra's feelings. Flip. Give me one more card for Libra's feelings. Queen of Swords. This wanted to come out uh, when I was play shuffling, right? See, Libra. Uh, but you look, I mean, I think you're absolutely ready to communicate with this person, okay? With the Queen of Swords here, yeah, because with the Nine of Swords here, yeah, I think you're stressing a lot about this person. This person is on your mind on a very constant basis, okay? I don't think you can get over this person anymore. Again, like I'm saying, you try to walk away from this person, but I don't think you were quite successful in doing so, okay? Now you want to come back to this person. And with the Queen of Swords, yeah, I think you want candid communication. You want honest communication. And you're ready to open up. You're ready to talk to this person and tell this person exactly what you've been going through and tell this person exactly what you want with this person. All right, let's do the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with. All right, spirit guides are just nervous. You know, Libra, I'm getting that, you know, probably you weren't putting effort before in this relationship, okay? But there was, this tower moment was literally needed, okay? I'm getting there could have been one person who was doing all the work. There could have been someone who was trying to run away from commitment, okay? And now this person is coming back. Someone's coming back and wanting to work on a relationship, okay? This is someone who wants to put in their all. They want to put in their every inch that they have. Uh, to make this relationship work out. It could also mean Libra that you see this other person as the queen of swords here where it's like, you know what? No nonsense, no bullshit queen, okay? But this could also be you that this is your approach this time, okay? Like, you know what? I don't want no bullshit. This is what I want and I'm very clear about it. And what you want is marriage, kids. You want the hamster, you want the dog, you want everything. All right. <clears throat> Give me the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love. Give me the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love. The person you're dealing with, King of Wands. You're dealing with someone who is very, very passionate about you. Very passionate about you. This could also be someone who wants you to take action. Okay? The King of Wands is a go-getter. Okay? But I don't know. Somehow, um... 
much anymore. The king of wands is someone very, very confident, okay? This could also be an entrepreneur that you're dealing with, okay? Someone who's very focused on their business. But at the same time, this is someone very decisive, okay? They have a lot of confidence. They know what they want and they get it, okay? So, yeah, this is someone who you can't really back. They have a mind of their own. Uh, give me more cards for the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love. Two of pentacles in reverse. This person uh, probably was a little wishy-washy in the past, okay? This person could have had you um, in a situation where they were juggling two people or they were just juggling a decision of whether they wanted to be with you or not or whether they wanted to be in this relationship or not. I think with the two of pentacles in reverse here, uh, they've dropped one thing, okay? But I think they're being more decisive right now with the two of pentacles in reverse here. Five of swords in reverse here. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting. That's why I wanted to um, clarify more cards. King of Wands. This King of Wands doesn't look like it's coming towards the Libra. I feel this person is moving away from you. I'm getting like you're coming in with this approach of, you know what? I want you. I want to marry you. I love you. I want this relationship. I realize, you know, that I want, uh, I mean, this is what I always wanted. And it took this entire type of moment. It took for you to walk away from this mind game. So the five of swords and triggers here. It took for you to walk away and drop this person, okay? Um you could have tried to balance out the situation with this person you could have literally you know been i'm getting you could have literally been the only one carrying out the entire load of this relationship okay i'm sorry guys the message is being downloaded but uh yeah now this person doesn't really give a fuck to you libra okay like i said switch the sides all right so don't come and saying oh that's on me that's the other person well then okay that's how it is but yeah hey bro this person that you're dealing with right they're not looking at you i think they're looking away they're looking um it's almost like i'm getting like you know what i don't give a fuck to libra anymore and i'm just gonna do what makes me happy more than makes me happy this is someone you know what i'm gonna take action towards something that uh, i'm very passionate about i'm a go-getter and i'm gonna go get what i want okay this could be someone who you're dealing with who again is a businessman or someone who's very very focused on themselves okay focused on their work their career their goals etc but again this person could have been very unsure about you for a very long time because probably you could have been in a loop with this person this person could have kept you in a loop okay could have given you a lot of emotional baits to keep you within the relationship but finally you've made uh, this person has made their choice okay this person has made their choice and their choice is to drop your libra because they're walking away there could have been a lot of mind games a lot of mind fuckery going on okay this person clearly does not want a reconciliation with the five of swords in reverse yeah i don't think so this person is moving forward with the four of cups in reverse here they're moving out of that isolation mode they're moving out of that feeling of being rejected this person could have felt very rejected by you maybe this person could have given you a lot of offers to be with this person okay into a relationship and a commitment or take this um uh, relationship situation connection to a high level of commitment but libra you could have refused for a very long time and now this person's walking away there could have been serious conflicts between you guys or like a lot of communication issues okay every single time you would try to express your feelings or express um your um your issue with where the relationship was going or every single time you wanted to know where the relationship was heading probably this person just shunned you away and they really didn't have uh, give you a chance to open up okay i'm getting someone who is trying to escape this relationship okay but now they're walking away they're coming out of that isolation mode okay they because they probably feel that if they're going to stick in that isolation mode they're not being able to see other opportunities okay that's why four of cups in reverse here they're wanting to keep you as a missed opportunity maybe they're okay with you being the one who got away maybe they saw a lot of potential with you once but now they're like nah that's fine it is what it is they're choosing to keep you as a missed opportunity libra give me more uh, cards for the feelings of this person that libra is dealing with in love see judgment they're making a final call this person is holding back knight of swords in reverse here they're making a final call here um give me one more card for the person that libra is dealing with in love too many cards but okay we got the devil in reverse eight of wands page of pentacles and the six of cups in reverse i'm not going to take it but i'm still going to read it out for you um 
what I'm getting is that Libra, this person is releasing themselves from a very, very toxic situation, okay? They could have felt very stuck, tied and bound to you for a very long time. Maybe they felt that they could never get rid of this relationship. Maybe they they thought, or maybe you were literally trying to control them, okay? They saw you as someone very toxic and someone who they didn't see growth with, okay? They just saw you as someone who was um, trying to keep, counting, uh, you know, constantly um, trying to keep them in that energy, okay? Trying to keep them. Uh, it's almost like I'm getting like, they literally thought that you were controlling them. I'm getting someone who was very egoistic also. But yeah, this is an energy of where, you know what, like, out, I'm free. Okay, so they've released themselves from this situation, okay? And I think uh, they see you as wanting to communicate with them with a page of pentacles and eight of wands here, okay? You probably have even tried to make attempts to approach this person with an apology, with waving the white flag. You want a reconciliation. Um, you want to make things right, okay? And with eight of wands here, you probably want to communicate with this person, okay? But I don't see this person interested in you anymore because they're holding a grudge against you with the six of cups in reverse here. This is someone who's holding a grudge against you, okay? I don't think this person is interested. Whatever happened in the past, they're not being able to forgive or forget. Something really, really happened bad, okay? I mean, something really, really um, got to them. Maybe they don't really expect you to behave the way that you did. This person was expecting a lot from you, okay? I think they literally expected the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups with you a while back. And that was the time when they were putting in all the effort. I'm, I'm getting like the tables have turned. And because I'm getting this person as all like walking away. I'm walking away proudly. Not even walking away sadly. King of Wands. They're very proud about what they're doing. They're very confident. Okay. Not egoistic but very confident. Like yeah I'm doing the right thing. You know. Give me one more card for this person's feelings. Ten of Pentacles. I think that I, I I think I, I don't think the stand of pentacles is with you, uh, Libra. I don't think this is what they're looking for you with you, okay? Because with the seven of wands in reverse here, I think this person could have fought for this relationship for a very long time, okay? The seven of wands is not the energy of them trying to uh, fight other people. It's literally a person who's trying to stand up on their own and trying to stand for what they believe is right. I'm literally getting this person could have tried to, you know, like um, uh, protect this relationship from. Um, a lot of people are tried to you know like literally hold on to the ropes you know literally hold on to the relationship like no i'm gonna fight for this no this is gonna be okay you know even if you were not an active participant in this relationship okay but now this person has made a final decision and their final decision is with the judgment and the name of pentacles i think this person is going to move on and this person is wanting to make a final decision and moving towards the name of pentacles okay this does not really look to me like they're moving towards you it mo it, it more it looks to me like they're moving towards their stability seriously i don't get it they're moving towards their stability i don't think this is a second chance here the seven of wands we have the moon here look this person you could have always kept this person in the dark or this person was always in the dark about where this relationship was heading they had literally no clue and you know it's like that unknown energy like i don't know where this is heading i don't i have no clue you could have kept uh very quiet about your relationship quiet about your feelings for this person even if you wanted something committed you probably chose to keep quiet and suppress your feelings or you just chose to uh, not show this person the side of you that they always wanted to see okay with the moon here this person always there was always like the sense of uncertainty around this connection okay which they feel okay and that's why now they're giving up Ten of Wands in reverse here. Nine of C. Look, they're all in the reverse. Where they're like giving up. They're tired, fed up. They're like the wounded warrior, beaten, wounded, tired, frustrated, exhausted. They're done. They have no fight left. Ten of Wands in reverse. They're laying off the situation because they literally felt like they, they felt unsupported in this relationship. Like I said before, right? This is someone who always felt like they were the one who did everything in the relationship and they got no support from you. Yeah, this person's giving up on you. I don't think this person is going to fight for you anymore, okay? I think you're chasing them now. That's what I'm getting, Libra. Again, I'm getting a lot of... This is going to be a crossword reading, but yeah, it is what it is, okay? So, yeah. That's what I have for you, Libra. They're going to chase you now that you're letting go and now that you make a final decision of not giving a fuck. They're coming back. They're coming back with that Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. They're ready to work on this. They have had this realization, okay? The right to come in and talk. They don't mean no bullshit this time, okay? They're very serious about you. They mean business. So yeah, Libra, that's what I have for you.
uh, take that resonate, take that how it resonates with the size if you wish to, and that's what I have for you, okay? I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.